at first sight, halo traction can be a scary thing. Well, at first, I was pretty scared for uh, my daughter because uh, we didn't know if the pins uh, as part of the, the traction would have some uh, effect or damage you know, to the head or to her brain. But they assured us at that time that it was just on the surface of the head. And then they showed us pictures, and then they have these things in their heads. And then I was kind of scared because they're putting something right here. And for young Lexus, another scoliosis patient, first word of the halo raised some serious questions. At first when they said they were going to put pins in my head, I actually started laughing because I thought it was a joke. And so it was like, oh my gosh, how is that going to work? And it sounded really scary. I was actually really, really nervous about the halo traction. Probably more nervous than thinking about my back surgery because thinking of like pins inside your head, I was just thinking, oh, how am I going to do this? My head's always going to hurt. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Patients and their parents ask all the time. It does not hurt. And we know that it looks primitive and barbaric, and it's very scary for parents and patients when they first see the pictures, and we recommend this for treatment. But it does not hurt repeatedly. Children tell us it does not hurt. Immediately post-op, um, the patient may have a headache for a day. So the next morning when I went to surgery and I woke up, I was able to get up. I felt fine. I had a headache, like they had told me. She seems to enjoy being on this traction. It's so much more comfortable than sitting slouching and be like, oh, my back hurts. Mom, can you please rub my back? Um, now I just... It doesn't even hurt. Really, it's, it's, it's not bad. And I saw little kids, they were just spinning on their traction, feet off the ground. And I was like, wow, how do they do that? I was so amazed by it. And I was like, you know, if they can do it, you know, why can't I just be on it? Halo traction helps children with severe curves in their spine due to scoliosis. Your doctor uses the halo to reduce the degree of curvature by a gentle pulling of soft muscles and joints to help straighten the spine. So the indications for halo traction are varied and include very severe deformity uh, of the spine, but not only the spine but also the chest wall. Patients often have poor pulmonary function. They have challenges in terms of gaining weight and maintaining weight because their deformity really creates a lot of um, energy expenditure when they're daily activities, activities of daily living. It helps to start loosening up and stretching out a very stiff curve that makes the surgeon's job easier when it's time for surgery. We start traction small increments until we build up to the ideal amount of traction force. When the children are up in traction, their pulmonary function gets improved, their spine deformity improves, their chest wall deformity improves, and they, they're able to gain weight because we are, our team comes in and um, uh, really takes advantage of the opportunity that the anti-gravity effect of the traction uh, lessens their en energy expenditure and then they uh, get them on a great dietary program so they gain weight. And three months ago, when we had talked about it with Dr. Sakato, and he would tell us, well, once the kiddos are on it for a few weeks or a month or so, believe it or not, they, they want to stay on attraction. And patients tell us over and over again, it feels good. And you know, we were like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. You know, that's just really crazy. And the kiddos have fun when they're in traction. We do, it's like PE, like my mom said. So it's kind of fun stuff with friends and other patients. It's 
scoliosis in younger patients, these patients, their scoliosis actually makes their pulmonary cavity or their chest cavity short and it grows crooked instead of upright. And so for these patients, scoliosis is really potentially a life-threatening condition. And so severe scoliosis, if not treated with the halo before surgery, can increase pressure on the heart and lungs and could result in a decrease in life expectancy. And so when they're in traction, they see that their, their spine is straightening. They see that their chest wall is expanding. They see that they're gaining weight and it's incredibly comfortable. Uh, after 24 hours in which we give them pain medicine after the halo's on, they're incredibly comfortable and they enjoy traction because they feel better in traction. They're able to breathe uh, easier and they're able to eat more. Many of our patients with severe spinal deformities who use halo traction are very thin and they have respiratory problems, so this helps with both of those. The procedure is not only used before surgery, but in some situations prior to casting or custom bracing. Once the halo is applied and traction begins, the benefits are obvious. After the first day or two, it's just like their breathing gets better, they're happy, it doesn't bother them, um, and it's just it's actually really fun for them. The halo is applied under anesthesia. The patient's totally asleep in the operating room. It's a very brief procedure. It only takes about 20 minutes, and pins, uh, surgical pins are placed on either side of the child's head in the front and also posteriorly on either side, usually two in the front and three on the back on each side. The number of pins and the amount of traction applied depends on your child's weight. Traction is accomplished by gravity working with a rope and pulley system. And the ring can either be an oval or it can be horseshoe shaped where it's open in the back. After the halo is applied, your child's mobility is assured through the use of a walker or wheelchair. While the patient is uh, awake during the day, we like him or her to be on their feet for a minimum of four hours a day, not always at once, spread out throughout the day. No one wants to stand up for four hours or walk around for four hours. So we do also provide them with a wheelchair that has the traction. So times when they're resting, eating, doing their schoolwork, playing video games, they don't have to stand. But standing and walking is the most effective time for traction because of the force of gravity. Once your child gets used to the halo and being in traction, moving about will be much easier. Because many patients are hospitalized for four uh, weeks to two months, the child has a routine. They have a daily schedule. They'll participate in the classroom if it's during the school year. They'll enroll in our school. They'll also go to physical therapy for strengthening. So physical therapy treatment is provided through um, individual, group, and or consultation in any combination. So it really depends on the patient's needs and um, one of the factors involved is also the family being independent with their home program. Treatment can include neck, core, and scapular strengthening and working on endurance as well. We also help facilitate the program goal of the children being in the walker traction for at least four hours a day, and they can be walking or standing in the walker traction for that time period. They may go to occupational therapy if they need assistance from those services. We just want to help them be as independent and safe with their everyday occupations, like we said before, their, um, their self-cares and also when they're inpatient, and just to make sure that they can um, be active in their environment and safe and independent in their environment, whether it be in their, their inpatient room, the inpatient school, and just with their daily daily lives here um, and so yeah we follow them through that process. They'll also join in uh, therapeutic recreation and play games and be with other children. And every day for an hour we participate in a group activity, a therapeutic recreation based activity. We do these activities in two locations. We'll either come to the solarium on the fourth floor of the hospital where we have an indoor playroom or we will go outdoors to Chambers Park. We have 
tennis court, basketball court, putting green, tee box, bocce ball court, do a variety of different activities. Complications while wearing the halo are rare because your child's neurological functions are closely monitored during treatment. We do that in accordance with um, the nursing staff. The physicians are also looking at this as well, so it's an interdisciplinary approach. Pen care is important, and your nurse will explain that to you. It's important that the pen sites are cleaned daily, just soap and water, and that the skin is pressed back against the skull. The length of treatment for halo traction depends on the patient, any underlying medical condition, and uh, the magnitude of the curvature. I always emphasize to the parents that they care for themselves as well. If uh, mom or dad has a hobby, such as needlepoint or beading, I want them to bring that with them. If they like to play cards, I want them to bring their cards. I also urge the parents to bring a child's favorite belongings. If there's a special stuffed animal that the child sleeps with nightly, if there's a special blanket or pillow the child needs with them every night, we certainly want the child to have those objects with them to feel safe and comfortable while they're in the hospital. The spinning, the running down the halls and picking up their feet and hanging by their heads, it, it really takes your breath away and, and you think, you know, you want to grab your head and think, you know, oh, they're hurting themselves, you know, but it doesn't hurt them and they love it.